Hi there, this is Amal Plumbing Goose performing a sewer inspection. Uh, property located at 6310 Riggs Place, uh, Los Angeles, California, 90045. And here we are, we scoped the camera through the sewer main line clean out located out front yard, right where the water main is and the planter is. I uh, recommend check the records and permits on the new sewer main line clean out installation. And uh, the view that we have right now is the city main line that is running in the middle of the street. Uh, we're going to go ahead and retract the camera and record uh, our findings. So pretty much the sewer main line is consists of uh, three different, uh, two different materials which is going to be the clay uh, piping. This is pretty much your city saddle uh, connection. We call it a saddle connection between your line and the city line. As you can see the line has been offset. Uh, you can see the it's about uh, anywhere from three quarter to an inch and of an offset over here. So offset means that connection have moved throughout the years due to earthquakes and plate, ground plate movements and so on. So uh, we don't see tree roots coming through this area right here. So it's a good news. Uh, another word is serviceable. You can continue using it. But obviously it's recommended to be repaired. Now this is the clay portion, it looks in a pretty good shape as a pipe itself, these areas which is underneath the street. However, we do have tree roots that have penetrated through the clay piping and then we also have a cracked clay pipe under the ground. And we're going to go ahead and record that as we get there. It is recommended to hydrojet the sewer main right here. This is the tree roots that we're talking about. As I said, the pipe have been offset over here as well, and the tree roots have penetrated through the line. It is highly recommended to hydrojet this area. Uh, it's in a stage where it could uh, easily start catching on a solid waste and eventually clogging up the, you know, the main line. Uh, again, hydrojetting is just a service, not a repair. Repair pretty much requires to excavate the grounds and get to the you know the roots of this issue right here and then obviously cut the pipe and replace it. Uh, there's a different uh, stages of repairs, uh, different options that could be provided uh, at the time of deciding how to proceed and doing the repairs on this line. And then this is uh, getting closer to a section where we have the cracked clay pipe. This is a crack that you can see very clearly how big of a crack it is right here. And most likely, probably, it's caused by uh, uh, continuous snaking of this line due to those three roots all the way up in the front. The snake machine, it's a, pretty much it's a drop. It's a vertical line where the snake machine is going to drop down and then if it keeps hitting this area, could lead into, you know, this break in the clay piping. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to locate these areas after we're done with the recording. Uh, this is the section where the clay and the cast iron meet together. Uh, the cast iron is at the end of its lifespan as you can see over here. There's a lot of corrosion on the pipe, however, we could not catch any crack or break in the line while doing the inspection. So in other words, the line is still serviceable, but as I said, it's near end of its lifespan, which anytime in the future it has to be replaced. And this pretty much will conclude our sewer inspection right here on this property. Thank you. And this is the connection between the ABS plastic for the clean out that it was installed and a cast iron. There we go, we're coming out of the clean out right here. As you can see, this is the outside of the house. Uh, just a quick recap right here, we're going to go ahead and recap pretty much the sewer main line materials, pretty much combination of between clay and a cast iron. We do have a very, very uh, minimal ABS, which is just where the clean out is. The cast iron is at the end of its life span, but there are no cracks or roots in the cast iron portion of the piping which is only about uh, 10 to 15 feet away from the actual house. After that, we connect into something called the clay piping. Clay piping, obviously, again, it's an original to the house uh, piping. Uh, the clay pipe has a crack in one section, and then the multiple offsets in one of the offsets uh, allowed tree roots to come through, so it is time to hydrojet uh, to kind of maintain this line clear 
uh, periodic maintenance is kind of uh, recommended over here uh, to hydrojet check the records and see when was the last time this main line has been jetted and uh, based on that we might be able to establish a timeline where how often um, you know you jet the line if not then uh, we can start fresh by jetting it now and then uh, give it another year and then come and do a camera inspection to see how fast this tree root's grown and then accordingly we establish timeline and uh, you know either once a year or once every two years or every year three years we'll just jet the line to keep it flowing thank you